Unboxing and review, Frank Forda, Azure. Florida. A great story. A great beginning. The Azure. Just one stunner from the Moraine collection. Swiss made quartz watches. They have all kinds of style and build quality. Inspired by the Moraine Lake watercolors. It's a Canadian company. Each dial created based on the color tone of the water, specific to a particular time of year between June and October. This is insane. First time it's ever been done. This is caused by the density of glacial rock flour. The higher the density, the greener the color, while the lower the density reveals a more blue tone. I think I got that right. Moraine Lake has become more and more popular as each year passes, so much so that they close the main local road due to traffic conditions and dangerous situations. Too many people are coming there. I'm talking about Calgary, Alberta. Beautiful, picturesque location. You may be familiar with it. Peter McKinnon made a great video about this location while looking for his bucket shot. Give him a follow. I'll try and attach the link there so you can see it and reference whatever you need. But it is a fantastic video. I love it. And Peter's great. He's, a, he's good people. Let's get a bird's eye view. She's a casual dress design with vibrant blue dial. The azure is filled with class. And I'm not going to lie. The case... It's a, got a great look to it as well, with great versatility at 42 millimeters in diameter. On the wrist, the whole package just works and feels great. Among the ancient Germanic tribe of the Franks, to be Frank was to be a free man. And Forda, from the Esperanto word meaning strong. Well, this watch certainly looks and feels strong. This almost industrial sandblasted look Case comes in at 137 grams, full package out of the box, mesh bracelet and all. 22 millimeters, lug, 10.6 millimeter thickness, she's great, and a 5 millimeter signed screw down crown that adds to this 100 meter water resistance. A screw down crown on a nice casual dress design. You don't see that too often. Nice touch, Frank Forda. A 316L stainless steel is used for this case and mesh bracelet. This may contribute to the overall weight, but you're getting great toughness and support here. And it's comfortable. This 316L steel comes in all three colorways. We're looking at a silver color, we're looking at a black color, and we're looking at a titanium colorway. The titanium colorway being the one that we're showing you here today. The dial is protected by a sapphire crystal with scratch resistance. Rounding out the case is a tribute to its roots. An etched sculpture, screw down case back with Moraine Lake pictured in it in every piece. The whole watch is a celebration of this iconic natural wonder of Alberta, Canada. A reasonable thickness, sloped lugs lends to the comfortable wear. The case finishes are legendary with brushed and smooth accents lined to show some of the contrast in this design. The dial, the obvious rock star here, the azure colorway, this dial tint representing Moraine Lake between July and August is a sunburst metallic style blue and it's gorgeous. Working our way from the outside in we have silver hour markers with what appears to be small mountains or glacial mounds in between them. A good design offering some texture and depth. Frank Fora with its insignia applied at the 12. Water resistance 100 meters 330 feet at the 6. Three hands, stick or baton style with large running seconds hand. She's finished off with a date complication at the three o'clock position, black on white display, no cyclops needed, and the date window is positioned inside the hour marker, not in place of. The interesting thing I have found is depending on the light source and the angle, the azure shows you a couple of different shades with this dial color. The movement 
a Swiss made quartz movement, tested and accurate. The strap or bracelet, this mesh steel bracelet is strong and durable, 316L stainless steel and smooth and comfortable. Reminds me of that mesh bracelet on the Omega No Time to Die Seamaster 300. It's slick. 22 millimeters all the way through down to the fold over clasp closure. That's signed Frank Forda and can easily be adjusted from whomever the wearer should be. The watch comes with a mini driver tool quite easily for the bracelet adjustment. Place the tool inside the locking bar, push down like it's a lever and you'll see that it releases this bar. At this point the clasp can now slide across the bracelet and once you reach your desired position you can then with your own muscle strength push down that locking bar into place. And let's not forget next level design here with this quick release steel to rubber, rubber to steel. Boom! It's that simple! No tools, no digging in the pinholes, possibly scratching the surfaces. That goes for the rubber and the steel. Easily changing these straps depending on what the occasion is or what the scenario might be. No problem. And oh my god, this rubber is strong, tough like G-Shock, but soft and comfortable. Now the Azura model came with the titanium colorway. It didn't offer a black rubber strap, but Frank Forda also sent me the black. And this one is turquoise. And it is the one that comes with the black rubber strap option. I know you're dying to know how much is this beast. Check out frankforder.com. The MSRP is at 492 Canadian, but she's down right now to 379. She's on sale. A worthy price to support your enthusiasm if you like these watches. Considering what you're getting, the craftsmanship, the materials, the unique designs, and the history and the originality, Frank Forder could just be your next time piece for casual dress design. Put it on your wrist. This isn't a paid sponsorship, these are my opinions only. I appreciate that and thank you very much to Frank Forda for providing these two watch designs for me. They are spectacular. I'm Ross, thanks for coming to the channel. I appreciate all the support. Do me a big favor and you know, keep the algorithm working, check all the boxes, hit the bells, you'll be notified when the next video drops. No problem, it's that simple. I'm also on Instagram, you can follow me right there anytime. Question, comment, concern, I think that's my time for today. See you on the next one.